Hey guys, thanks for popping in and joining us today. We're gonna take a quick look at what is a sprain versus what is a strain, right? So again, one thing that we wanna make a note of is that sprains are injuries to joints and specifically ligaments, right? So you have a ligament injury at a joint and that is referred to as a sprain. On the other hand, a strain is a muscle injury, right? So they are different and oftentimes people confuse these two things, but in any case, the care for them is essentially gonna be the same, right? So we use the mnemonic RICE to provide care for anybody that has either a strain or a sprain, again, a ligament or a muscle injury, in which we have typically inflammation, swelling, redness is a, is a pretty clear indicator, pain to the affected area sometimes may radiate around that area in general. Uh, so again, um, we wanna make sure that we're looking for those things. And what we do is we, we rest to mobilize, uh, compress and elevate, right? So rest, in other words, if you have a strained or sprained part of your leg, right? You're not gonna walk on that leg. You probably want to use your dominant leg or your non-injured leg to move. So that way you can, you can rest it, of course. Uh, immobilize if you need to, you can splint. A quick tip for you if you're out in a setting where maybe you don't have a first aid kit, you can grab a newspaper, uh, a magazine, anything really that is firm but flexible that you can actually wrap around that injury and you can immobilize it. Uh, we're gonna compress with ice 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, and then elevate above the level of your heart to help uh, reduce that, that rush of blood flow to that affected area. And that's gonna help us really, essentially what that does is reduce the inflammation and swelling, right? So as we ice, we also elevate. Um, and we wanna make sure we follow that mnemonic for both strains and sprains. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video today, a quick understanding of what the differences are between those two types of emergencies. However, the care is the same for them. Thanks for joining us.